Hi everybody, this is Francesco Rulli. Uh, let me give you a list of uh, roles I have. First of all, I'm the CEO of Querlo. Querlo is a, a technology agnostic artificial intelligence company that uh, we started back in 2015. Um, of the fact that uh, we had actually built as a company 13 classrooms in Afghanistan to support the education of thousands of young women there. We had some problems with the classrooms in Afghanistan. So what we did, we decided to switch into using chatbots and artificial intelligence. And that's how we start our journey. Now it's 2020, we're in the middle of the COVID pandemic and uh, our business is booming simply because uh, the world is coming to a realization that uh, conversational artificial intelligence is very important. The second role I have, I am uh, a Forbes Insights AI partner our role is uh, to support and augment uh, Forbes Insights operations with chatbots and help them uh, to operate with research. One thing I'm doing now is a series of interviews to executives to talk about the post-COVID era. So basically ask them to read the future and uh, tell us what they think is going to be the challenges, but also the opportunities of the post-COVID era. And the other part is actually ask them the role of artificial intelligence so that they can share with us uh, their thoughts, their needs, uh, their perspectives on the use case uh, uh, of applying artificial intelligence in this new era. Uh, the third role I have is uh, I am also the chief digital and chief cognitive officer of the Opera del Duomo Florence, who is basically the organization that, that takes care of the monuments of the cathedral, the baptisterium, the Tower of Giotto, the museum of the Opera del Duomo uh, in Florence, an organization that has 700 years of history and contains the artwork of uh, uh, um, artists like Donatello, uh, Brunelleschi, Ghiberti and Michelangelo. Uh, let's talk about Michelangelo. We actually launched the, on, uh, the artificial intelligence of Michelangelo. So today, if you go to querlo.com forward slash Michelangelo, you can actually talk to Michelangelo and uh, have a conversation with a natural language, uh, uh, understanding uh, developed uh, artificial intelligence based on the questions of thousands of people that have interacted with this. I'm doing this video also to talk about the role of, of a cognitive officer. One of the largest challenges, uh, the biggest challenges as a, a, um, an artificial intelligence company is to find the right stakeholder within a company who actually understand what to do with artificial intelligence and has the tools to apply artificial intelligence for the benefits of the company and the employees and the customers. I define that the chief cognitive officer. Um, the first question I ask people is, who is your chief cognitive officer? Usually I get like, I don't know. And uh, most people never even gave a thought about what the role of a cognitive officer can be. All right. So the cognitive services uh, of an organization sometimes uh, leverage those tools that are already available on the market. In fact, for example, Querlo, we are a technology agnostic um, artificial intelligence company that leveraged the cognitive services of IBM, Microsoft, Lewis, Reza, uh, whatever uh, technology organization out there has developed a sophisticated product and implemented within our work stream. So on the other side, the client or the partner, uh, if they have a cognitive officer, this officer would be able to understand those tools, to understand what tools so they can be further developed uh, with machine learning or different interpretations of the tools uh, uh, roles, for example, how you, adopt, uh, how you implement uh, measuring sentiment and emotion within a conversation with employees, uh, or uh, how you, for example, um, understand uh, uh, slang or different uh, ways of expressing a question uh, so that basically your, your cognitive services improve with time. And also what you prioritize, right? So let's say, you launch this new HR digital assistant and power with uh, IBM Watson, Microsoft Lewis, NLU. You got to categorize what are your priorities in terms of machine learning and uh, where you're going to focus your work in terms of implementing new, um, uh, let's say, policies that can answer those questions being asked. So uh, managing uh, the cognitive services of humans and machines is a very uh, specific role 
And uh, that's what usually the uh, chief cognitive officer has to do. So if you have any ideas or any questions about the role of a chief cognitive officer, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn, Francesco Rulli, or simply email me at fr at querlo.com. Querlo is Q-U-E-R-L-O.com. Thank you very much.